Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Fran Biz with another stream of Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. So let's continue where we left off. We left off with Nero beating um Angus, I believe. And we're, we're well. Before I continue, let me just change the settings a little bit. All right. Now let's load this game. And we should be good. Let's continue where we last left off at. Nice, 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 nice.
Alrighty. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Lasers. Let's see if I could do this secret mission. <clears throat> not that it matters or not, but we'll see. Eliminate all commanders before the scare. Oh, this one might be a challenge. I might not. I might not be able to do this one. Nope, nope. Damn. Yeah. Oh, you gonna pay for that. Got it.
Alrighty. What took you so long? It's Dante. What are you doing here? Forget it. I don't have time for this. And neither do I. So I'll cut to the chase. Ooh. I'm here for the sword. Oh, you asshole. Damn, I get to my ass handed. I gotta find a way to avoid that. Pretty much was. That sword was used to separate our world from the demons. I can't have something of that kind of power floating around now, can I? 
It's got to stay in the family. I need this. <laughs> then keep it. Now that you're calm and cool, <laughs> get going. Where the wind came from? <laughs> What's your name? Nero. You're tight. Not a bad name. Neither is yours. That flap. <laughs> to impress <laughs> are you sure you want to let him go yeah I figure he can bear the burden I know it's not my business but this could get ugly well if the kid screws up then I'll just have to kick his ass true true Nice. Let's continue. And yes, I know, this is the wrong way. I'm just going here just for shits and giggles. Nice. Thank you. 
Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, you gonna pay for that. Woo! Oh! Damn! And that was an S rank. <clears throat> I think it was a double S rank. Yeah, double S rank.
Oh shit, I went I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Let me prepare. Let's do this. What the? Is it not beautiful? I think we've got a difference of opinion on that one. Pretty messed up. Kyrie. Is it not your wish to become one with her? Within the Savior, your mortal bodies will combine, melting into one to manifest and create his core. A thing of utter and pure beauty. Go blow yourself. <laughs> You are too late. But, although still incomplete, this is your chance to catch a glimpse of the true power of our savior. Let's do this. Please stop running away. Golly. Yo, he took a lot of damage on that. <clears throat> No, you don't. Got his ass. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge. How to jump around you. Oh, you asshole.
Oh, low blow. Salute a man who carries the blood of Sparta. While not in Dante's league, you still presented a harder fight than I had anticipated. Dante? I had originally intended to absorb him into our savior. But circumstance presenting, I'd rather choose the option at hand. Fucked up. All that is needed is absolute power. Dang. Now oh, it's you, Gloria. Unfortunately, you did not anticipate a descendant of Sparta's blood. And because of this boy, you have been outwitted, and the savior will be completed. I don't know. I'd wager this kid still got some life in him. Nice. You fool. Escape is now impossible. The creation cannot be stopped. All right. So if Nero had the ability to do his devil bringer, why couldn't he catch Credo? My options are limited. <laughs> so melodramatic. Besides, <laughs> if you die without giving my sword back, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> then come and get it. <laughs> Very emotional, very emotional.
Check it out. It's got wings. <laughs> the design shows terrible taste. Hey, where's that thing going? It's not complete yet, is it? It is in his heart to save the world from chaos. He will begin by driving it out. Now he has what he needs. Yamato. His body used it to seal the Hellgate from the demon world. The sword is the key to opening the Hellgate. The real Hellgate. That lies dormant beneath this city. The sword that separates the human world from the demon world. I think you, the son of the Dark Knight Sparta, are the only one who can stop the savior now. Dante. Looks like you've got a rep to live up to. <laughs> Looks that way. I'm saying, where's the lady at? Please, honor one last request. Save them. Kyrie and Miro. I wouldn't want to deny anyone their dying request. I'll sweep the city and evacuate the people. Hey, is this your way of ditching and dumping this you mess You want to switch? It's cool. Let's stick to the plan. She's got a point. <laughs> She's got a good point. Alright, let me give a quick shout out to the people who hosting the channel, Rico Flair and Nicol Nicolo Polito 1990, Monstorious Games. Appreciate you guys hosting the channel. Alright, let's continue. That was very dramatic. <clears throat> All right.
This guy. That's a solid performance for an old fart like you. <laughs> All right. Time to play as the double hunter, Dante himself. Now I just, now I just gotta remember how to play as Dante. It's been a while. All right, so he's on the other side. All right, wrong way. Oh, you asshole.
right. Where'd it go, Tante? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. No turning back. Lord of the Sword, huh? Yes. Are you familiar with them? Sorry. Religion and I don't mix. It's a small congregation that gathers in the castle town of Fortuna. I guess the only people who would have heard of it are the ones who take interest in this <laughs> type of thing. Like you. Exactly. <laughs> Lady. So just how much do you know about Sparta? Well, from what I can figure, there's a lot of confusion surrounding them. The story goes that Sparta served as the feudal lord of the city long ago. The people who live there today take these legends as truth and worship them just like a god. They worship a demon as a god? Peaceful worship can't be condemned. But the real problem is the order. Lately they've been running amok, catching demons, and have even butted in on some of my jobs. They're starting a zoo. Not just demons. They've also been targeting devil arms. Like the ones you had. Okay, then, a museum. <laughs> so what? 
Well, what if their intentions are foul? And there's a diabolical plan behind these apparently random acts. Well then, I'd have something to keep me occupied and... Trish! <laughs> Things always gotta be complicated. You know it. All right, let me see if I remember this shit. <clears throat> The pattern that I have to take. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. I know it's like a certain pattern. Do I go back? Oh, <coughs> I really don't remember. It looks like I'm going the right way. Oh shit, move out! I think I got the pattern so far. Oh, got it. Looks like I got it so far. So yeah, it's the opposite way the shadows are leading to. It's crazy how I memorize this shit.
<laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Glad I got your attention. I was beginning to feel a little ignored. You may jest, but the kindest fate I offer is to unify and spend eternity with a child of mine. <laughs> <laughs> as appealing as that sounds, I think I'll pass. Though a fight every now and then does make life a little more interesting, don't you think? Lock. I just jumped into that. Yo, what's popping you? Well, uh, sorry, I bit my tongue. What's popping your boy for twenty? Appreciate you stopping by. One down. Nice. Two to go. Was popping crooked Lee enchanting prince. Appreciate you stopping by. Poppin' Prince, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm just streaming some Devil May Cry 4 for the Xbox One, I believe. Yes. Alright, let's continue.
right? Now we're just gonna escape the forest on our way to Fortuna's Fortuna Castle, I believe. Yeah. You know what's funny? Gigamish is one I rarely use. I mean, you know what? Just for the sake of it, let's try out Gigamish. Ah, oh, I remember this shit. I, for, I remember these uh, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna try out the Gigamesh. Yeah, back when I used to play this, like, on the 360, I just stayed using the Lucifer weapon and the Rebellion, of course. My favorite gun is the, the shotgun. Nice. No, it's obviously a powerful one. It's just the whole charge that gets gets me pissed off. <laughs> no, it. Wait, hold on. Now, are you talking about all the games or just the uh, in this game? Take it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Um, the Beowulf from um, Devil May Cry 3. Which, by the way, I, I love the Beowulf from Devil May Cry 3. Actually, he's one of my favorite bosses, too. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna stream um, Devil May Cry. Well, all of them, all three of them. I haven't played that game in uh, I can't recall the last time I played it. I also got the HD collection. I know I got all the achievements for um, for Devil May Cry 3. I just couldn't beat the first the first one on um. On Dante Most Die Mode. Jump! True. Okay. I think I went the wrong way. Not sure. Yeah, I definitely went the wrong way. All right, cool, man. Uh, I'm always appreciated for anyone to stop by. Yeah, I got all the Devil May Cry games. I I pretty much beat them all on Dante Must Die mode. The only one I haven't beat was the first one. That one. Good luck. Actually, beat it and. He told me a funny story about that shit. He started crying. He started throwing his controller. He looked back at that game and never and, and threw that shit out the window. He's like, "Fuck this game! I beat it." <laughs> Why he did, did he do that? Who cares, man? It sounds funny.
Jump, jump, jump. Woo. But yeah, man, I'm just waiting for CatCon to do something with the Devil May Cry series, man. Definitely one of my favorite franchises from CatCon. And they're just sleeping off of this. Let me read this. Hopefully, I'll be there when I can. Can't promise. I mean, it's, you don't have to, man. Like, just the, just the effort matters, you know. If you could, it, just saying that, just that, that's all that matters, man. All right, appreciate the follow, man. Cool. I love that shit. <laughs> nice. So hold back in. Oh, that's awesome. I gotta do that again. That's awesome. Let me get a better view. Can I move the camera? No, I can't. I mean, if we could keep this Dante, I, I would love a DMC5, like seriously, man. Like, cause I'm so tired of like, leaving that, the, the whole franchise with a cliffhanger on Devil May Cry 2. You know, it's like, come on, I wanna know what happens after Devil, Devil May Cry 2. A better example of what I mean is like with games with Catcon is like their franchise storyline is all over the place. A good example of what I mean is Street Fighter, uh, the free. Uh, sorry, I bit my tongue. The Street Fighter franchise is like if you look at the timeline on Street Fighter, it goes with Street Fighter, then Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Two, Street Fighter Four, Street Fighter Five, and then Street Fighter Three. That's the whole timeline of Street Fighter, and it's the, it's the same thing with Devil May Cry, where I mean. You seem like you know the whole storyline with Devil May Cry, but in case you don't, it's, it's Devil May Cry 3 is first, then it's uh, Devil May Cry 1, then 4, and then 2 is the last one. I, I think I'm right on that, yeah. But yeah, I would love for them to make a, a actual sequel, not no reboot or nothing like that. And for and, and as far and I said this on my last stream when I was streaming this last yesterday. I have nothing against the, the the reboot, you know. I think it's an is okay, it's an okay game. But the thing is, like, I think it should have been its own game. It should have been so called something else. I don't think it should have been called Devil May Cry. It should have been just called something else. Um, but I do like the game. Okay, that's cool, man. No, I just, I'm just saying that because some people don't know like the timeline of Devil May Cry, so they'll get confused. I hate this enemy right here. The I think they're called Blaze. Yeah, I hate these enemies right here. I use the Lucifer for this boss. I think you also use the the Pandora 666 uh, weapon as well. Oh, Blitz. That's what it's called. Blitz. Okay.
and fighting these guys on the on Dante must die mode. Oh my gosh, I hated them. Nah, man, you gotta take this. You gotta take this out. Fuck it. Oh, that's cool. That's that's a great way to remember the, the names. Just come up with some stupid names. Blitz. When I think of Blitz, I think about the football game. Alright. I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go. Um, I know I'm supposed to destroy the ice, so how do I get there? Um... And that's going to take me to the same place. Fire Moo, he looks like a cat. Really? You think so? <laughs> I never thought of it like that. Okay, so I did went the wrong way. I just wanted to make sure, that's all. The thing about Devil May Cry 4 is like... They spoil you so good with, with Nero's gameplay that when you play with Dante, you forget how to play. Now, when you start playing with Dante, like on, on um, Bloody Palace and shit like that... Oh, man. Dante is awesome to play with. Okay, so that's blocked off. So I have to go... Okay, it's coming back to me. That's where I thought I was supposed to go, but I just wanted to make sure. Because sometimes I overdo myself in this game. The fire move. Oh my gosh. That's a funny name. One thing about this level, I like the music in this stage. It sounds like it fits for a horror game. I mean, I didn't say I didn't say he was stronger. It's just that I feel like these his gameplay they just spoil with the whole Devil Bringer and his charge abilities. You know, I just you, you get so comfortable with it, but then like when you play with Dante, you. In my opinion, I just forget what I'm what I was supposed to do with Dante. Now, don't get me wrong, Dante is awesome to play with. I love his his um his double arms, his um his uh shotguns. As you can see, I'm using shotguns and not ebony and ivory. Have you played um legendary devil hunter mode? Oh my gosh, that shit's crazy. Let me go devil mode. Why am I missing my target? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was your first game? Oh man. Like, the shit that happens with Legendary Devil Hunter is like, oh my gosh, it's like, like the amount of enemies you get, it feels like you're playing a Dynasty Warrior game. Yeah. 
I mean, I give you more, more credit. I definitely give you credit for that, man. I I, I did not play um, Legendary Devil Hunter. I know there's a secret mission here. Yeah, that was a blast when I did the, the secret missions. I should have recorded them, uh, and put them on my YouTube channel. In case you haven't checked out, I have a YouTube channel, and I I went the wrong way, <laughs> and I you know I upload content there and everything. But yeah, beating the secret missions, I think. It was harder for me to do the secret missions back when I had it on the 360, but on the Xbox One, man, I breezed through that shit. I'm going the wrong. Let me make sure. I think I'm supposed to go here, but I want to make sure. Yeah, okay. Playing as as Virgil was cool, but it didn't add nothing to the story. That's what I was disappointed with it, but I, I still enjoy playing with Virgil, just for nostalgia reasons. You know, Virgil is definitely one of my favorite... Well, pff, I, th I think it's safe to say that all the characters in Devil May Cry are, like, fan favorites. Heck, even the chick from Devil May Cry 2, I forgot her name, Lucia, I think her name is. She's cool too, but people don't talk about Devil May Cry 2, because we got Devil May Cry 1 and 3, and 4. Back on the 360, I just remember something. There was only two mi two achievements that I was missing. Um, one of them was beat Devil Hunter with an S rank, and the other one was um, hold on, this ass is gonna try to attack me. The other one was um, max out your inventory with all the items. I'm like, ha ha, good luck. Shit, jump. Oh, that was beautiful. All they really did was... Yeah, Catcom disappointed everyone when they didn't add... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, all they did was added, like, an intro and outro, and that was it. Come on. I mean, Virgil's definitely a fan favorite, man. Like... So, yeah, I, I agree with you, definitely. I was disappointed with that. You know what's crazy? I still got the strategy guide to this game. Back when it came out, like for the PS3 and the 360. <laughs> I still got that. I got the collector's edition for the 360. I got the art book that it came with, the the DVD that came with it, the anime that it came with it. Yeah, man. This I really did enjoy this game. So speaking of CatCon and games from CatCon, you ever played God Hand? Oh, I love that game. I just could never beat it. That game was pretty hard. <laughs> the art book was pretty cool. I, I liked it, but it's just it's really small. It's like the size of a like an instruction manual. It's it's really small. As big as big as you think it will be. 
I'm pre pretty sure there was some blood orbs here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, got it. It's crazy how I memorized this whole game. I played this shit so many, so many times back on the 360 days. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. Oh, I missed. Oh. I'm not really into games, actually. These are just about... Hold on. These are about the only games I got interested in. Well, my dude, love hanging out. I gotta go. All right, man. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Hey, what's up? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep, I definitely went the wrong way. All right. Supposed to go on the blue one. There we go. Oh, someone farted. I see. <laughs> Baby. 
baby, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hentai approves this shit. You can hide that body, but that smell? Ooh, there's no cover up. <laughs> I'd actually like to see you try that. <laughs> Oh, you're dead, dude. You are dead. Got you. Yo, pure madness, yo, like what the fuck? <laughs> So I just realized I was talking on the mic and it was muted. But anyways, I'm going to go sign out right now. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who was hosting the channels. Mausorius Games, Rico Flair, and Nicopolito 1990 um, Also, a shout out to all the new followers who stopped by and people who was watching the stream. So a big shout out to Fort, your boy 420 and um, Enchanting, Crookedly Enchanting Prince. I appreciate you stopping by. 
Anyways, if you guys haven't, make sure to follow me on my Twitter. It's FranBiz83. My main YouTube channel is FranBiz. And my Instagram is FranBiz with underscores in between. Anyways, guys, I am out. Peace. Before I sign out, I'm gonna host my channel to Beware of Coco. So make sure to check out his channel. He he uh he's a great streamer. So yeah, this time I mean it. I am out. Peace.